Hey everyone, what is up? My name is Jordan and this is JJ Cruz. Today we are taking you on a full walking tour of the Harmony of the Seas. This is one of the largest cruise ships in the world, so we are going to see everything that there is to see and there's going to be a lot of tips and information along the way if you are coming on Harmony of the Seas anytime soon. Before we get into the tour, I just want to ask you to hit that subscribe button hit the like button, and thank you so much in advance for doing so. It's something that's free to you that supports us more than you will ever know. Let's go check out this awesome ship. We are starting our tour of Harmony of the Seas up here on deck 17. This is the highest deck that you can go, and this is going to be a suites deck. So you're actually going to have your suites located up here on deck 17, some of your suites, as well as suites only areas. So you do have Coastal Kitchen, which is a beautiful restaurant that sits all the way up here at the top of the ship and overlooks the ginormous pool deck. We are here more towards the back of the ship, so this is the aft bank of elevators. You've got rooms on either side, the coastal kitchen, as well as the suites only lounge. So the suites area does get access to a bar, and again, another lounge that kind of sits up here and looks out over the pool deck. On the other side of the ship, you are going to have the suites sun deck. So those are kind of the three areas that are going to be specifically for suite guests. If you're staying in a suite, these areas will be for you. Let's pop on down to deck 16. We've come on down now to deck number 16, and this is gonna be where you will actually enter into the Windjammer Cafe. So the Windjammer is, of course, the buffet on board. It is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They provide a number of different things to eat. Um, they've got salad stations, pasta stations, and then, of course, on different evenings, they will have different types of cuisine in here. Um, the Windjammer is a great place for casual food. If you don't feel like getting dressed up for dinner, or you don't like to um, go to the main dining room, the Windjammer is a great spot for you. We are going to pop out to the deck 16 pool deck. Now, like I said, this pool deck is one of the largest at seas with multiple pools. Deck 16 is going to be where you will have more of your sun deck area. So this will be the spot where if you kind of want to get away from the crowds, you'll pop up here to get a deck chair. Now, as soon as we come out, you are going to see one of the pool areas down there on deck 15. We will walk past that, but that is, of course, going to be the splash zone for the kids. This ship is great for families. It provides not only incredible entertainment, but the family areas on the ship are honestly unmatched, in my opinion, to other cruise lines. So you are going to just see loads and loads of loungers out here. Um, every so often you will see a staircase. There's one right in front of us that is going to go down to deck 15. So there's pretty easy access to get up and down between these areas. You will see those water slides in front of me. So the water slide is going to be up a couple of decks and we'll see down on deck 15 how you do get up to those water slides. Um, but there's three water slides here on the Harmony of the Seas. The Harmony of the Seas is an Oasis class ship. So of course this is a part of the class of ship that is the world's largest. This was the world's largest at one point in time, um, but they only keep expanding these ships by a foot or two <laughs> so the newer ships can get that title. We are in beautiful St. Martin today, and I do just want to mention that everything you see on this side of deck 16 is mirrored on the other side. So you will just have this long row of loungers that are ocean facing on the other side of deck 16. Now, as we get more towards the forward of the ship, we are going to find ourselves in the solarium. Royal Caribbean solarium is going to be their adults only area. You do have to be 16 and older to come up here to this area. There is no pool in the solarium. However, there are two large hot tubs and a nice bar. The bar is located up here on deck 16. You can see that there in front of us. And then we did just walk past the entrance into the forward bank of elevators. So the forward bank of elevators will come right up here to the solarium entrance. But we're gonna step on down these steps to get down to deck 15 and the lower level of the solarium. 
As we come down to the deck 15 level here, you are going to notice lots and lots of loungers. There is a hot tub there in front of us. This is a nice open air um, space. So not always is the solarium open air, but this one is. You have another hot tub there. And then there is another set of stairs that will get you down to an even lower level of the solarium um, and another hot tub. So there is a third hot tub that faces all the way forward right here over the banister. And honestly, this is a great place to just come and get amazing views, especially on a sea day. It is really quite beautiful. Now, something else that you are gonna have here in the solarium is going to be the Solarium Bistro. That is a complimentary specialty restaurant for dinner that serves more Mediterranean style tapas. So it's gonna be small plates. It is complimentary, but you will wanna get those reservations early. You're gonna hear that quite a bit because when you're on a ship that fits 6,000 guests, you are always going to want to reserve early and reserve often for anything, dining, entertainment. Um, but here to my left is going to be one of the seating areas for that Solarium Bistro. Now during lunch, it is just a buffet. So you can come in here and grab kind of just buffet food. But then dinner, it does turn into that more specialty restaurant experience. And it is complimentary. It's the only complimentary specialty restaurant that you're gonna find here on Harmony of the Seas. Now, as we walk out, we are going to be on deck 15, which is going to be the pool deck. You will see two hot tubs to my right. And directly in front of me, you do have, of course, a staircase that's going to lead upstairs. But before we get to the staircase, you will have the perfect storm set of water slides. So right here will be the entrance to where you're going to go upstairs to get those water slides. Again, there are three. The minimum height requirements for the water slides is 48 inches. And directly across from that hot tub that we saw, there will be another set of hot tubs. So four hot tubs back there directly behind us. We are coming up here on one of the pools. There are multiple pools here on the pool deck. And then of course, tons of loungers. Now the pool deck um, is kind of sandwiched in between two more hot tubs. There is no shortage of hot tubs here on the Harmony of the Seas. And then directly in front of me will be a life vest station and a towel station. So you do still have to check those towels out with your sea pass card. So you can come here and then these gentlemen will help you get uh, towels. They will hook you up. We have another set of stairs right in front of me leading up to deck 16. And then we do have the pool bar on my left. So of course, this is gonna be one of several bars up here on uh, the pool deck area. There are servers up here as well. So if you are looking for someone to come and bring you a drink, you can find that up here. You do have a smoking section on my right. And that is right behind the sports pool. So this pool right here, is known as the sports pool. They do activities in this pool such as volleyball. So this pool will turn into an adults pool sometimes for those types of activities. So for when they're doing adults only volleyball, maybe not a good time to bring the kids into this pool because they will be asked to leave. Directly across from the sports pool, you are going to have that splash area that we saw from deck 16. So again, tons of fun little features over there. That's definitely a place for the kids. And just past those pools, you do have the Patty Five Star Dive uh, Center. We're gonna continue walking back on this deck because we are going to see the sports court. So lots of activities back here. This is also going to be where you're going to find um, your teen club. So if you do have teens on board, the living room will be up here on deck 17. A great place for those kids to come and hang out. Again, these huge ships have so much to offer for families, really for people of all ages. So all the way from the little ones, Adventure Ocean, up to your teenagers, there's plenty for them to do. We do have the Adventure Dunes up here, which is going to be Royal Caribbean's Miniature Golf. So if you've got some uh, Miniature Golf fans in the family, wanna come back here and check that out. Just past the Miniature Golf, are these stairs with plenty more to do. We're gonna hop up these stairs and check out what the very back of the ship has to offer. 
You are gonna have two flow riders up here, so if you don't know what a flow rider is, this is surf simulation. Um, so there's gonna be one on this side and one on the other side. We'll see that in just a second. And then in between the flow riders, you do have the ultimate abyss. This is going to be the dry slide on the ship that will take you down to deck number six. One of the tallest slides at sea. Right across from the abyss, you are going to have the wipeout bar. So this will be another bar where you can come, grab a drink, and then you can watch people do the surf simulation. So if you do have family members, this is a place a lot of dads like to come and hang out, um, or teenagers, if you come um, up here, you can actually sit in the splash zone and watch your friends and family wipe out. Now, just up to my left, you are going to have the zip line. So yes, there is a zip line here on board. You do have to be at least 52 inches tall and you cannot exceed 275 pounds. This is not a long zip line, but it will take you across to the other side. So back where Adventure Dunes is, where that miniature golf is, that's where the zip line goes to. Coming down the stairs here, you do have the basketball courts. It's a huge basketball court. It actually does stay quite busy, especially with the number of kids on board for spring break. But they'll come up here, hang out, play a couple of games, and then right around the sports court, you are gonna have more loungers. So this is another area, if the pool deck is just too full for you and you kinda wanna get out of the way of a lot of the splashing, <laughs> this is a great place to come back and hang out. As we continue walking, you are gonna notice that there's some tables back here. That's because one of the fast, casual eateries is back here. This is actually called Mini Bites. Um, you're gonna have a number of different things up here, but it's gonna be snack foods. So things like quesadillas, nachos, hot dogs, you'll be able to find back here. And then as we walk past that soda station, you are gonna have ping pong tables. So there's gonna be multiple ping pong tables and you're gonna notice the wind barriers up here. Those are to really protect you and the balls from flying. You have a great lookout spot here. You can kind of overlook the harmony of the seas sign, that abyss slide, and then looking down into the boardwalk. It's a little bit of a sneak peek. That is deck six and we will get down there eventually. Now, right back here you are going to have, like I said, the teens area. So this is going to be fuel. Fuel is for ages 12 to 17. It is just past those glass doors. Back here next to additional ping pong tables. You got another little area that is a hangout area out here, again, for the teens. So it is nice that they kind of have this designated spot up here on deck 16 where they can hang out and chill. So this is their deck. We're gonna walk back up here around Mini Bites to take a quick look at the other side of the pool deck. Like I said, there are things like the splash zone and then a third large pool out here. So you have a total of three large pools plus a splash zone and then plenty of hot tubs. Something that people may not know is that Mini Bites actually is another place that is open for breakfast. So there are fast, casual, included breakfast places outside of the Windjammer if you are looking to come and try something a little bit different. Mini Bites up here is one of them, Johnny Rockets is another, and right outside of Mini Bites here you do have your ice cream. So if you are looking for ice cream, the ice cream is open from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. I wanna pop inside very quickly because there are a couple of things in here. One is going to be the video arcade. So again, we are in the elevator bank or close to the elevator bank that is more towards the back of the ship or the aft of the ship. Pretty large arcade, you got a number of different games. Of course, you do have to pay for these, so these are not included. Keep that in mind. And you do get the credits at the kiosk right here next to the Jurassic Park ride. And then right across from the arcade you are gonna have Breeze. This is going to be an actual shop up here that is going to um, sell 
pool items. So things like beach bags, sun hats, sunglasses, a variety of snacks, sunscreen, all of that kind of stuff can be found up here. Now just through that corridor, you are going to find an elevator bank that is going to be your aft bank of elevators. We're gonna head back outside and continue checking out this epic pool deck. Directly in front of me, you are going to see that splash zone area. So again, that's gonna be for the kids. Now they have a large splash zone and then they have a baby splash zone. Um, so really, I keep saying it, this pool ha or this ship has things for all ages. It doesn't matter if you're zero, all the way up to 99, you're going to be able to find something for you on Harmony of the Seas. That is why we love these ships. You got loungers here to my right. You'd have a hot tub here in the splash zone. And then you are going to have the sand bar. So this is opposite of the pool bar that we saw earlier. Stairs going up to deck 16 on my right as we walk past these, and then you will have another towel station. So most of these upper decks do mirror each other, so we're walking past where the other bar and towel station was. And then this is going to be the beach pool. The beach pool is going to have some loungers that will actually be in the water. You can see that in front of me, and then there are two additional hot tubs. Just past the pools here, you are going to, of course, have that solarium area that is beautiful. So we've seen most of the pool deck. We are gonna go ahead and pop on down to see the rest of the decks of Harmony of the Seas. We have popped on down here to deck 14. Now deck 14 is primarily a stateroom deck. There are a couple of things up here though that we do need to show you. And the first is the Incredible Kids Club Adventure Ocean. Now this kids club is for kids ages three to 12 parents. You do have to come here and get your kids signed in. You can't just send them to Adventure Ocean on your own. But there's plenty to do for ages three to 12 up here on deck 14. Right outside of the kids club, you do have this strange looking door. This is going to actually be an escape room on board. So this is an activity that you do pay for. Um, but if you did want to check that out, it is quite fun. We have done it. And I will say, it's actually incredibly difficult. <laughs> now this is all found, of course, towards the forward bank of elevators. So we are more towards the front of the ship. Directly across in the aft bank of elevators, you are going to have seven hearts. That's gonna be the cards room. Um, that is a very quiet spot if you are looking for a place to kind of get away. Up here on deck 14, seven hearts is going to be that place. But let's hop on down to keep seeing the rest of the ship. We are now on deck 12. There is no deck 13 on this ship. Now deck 12 is another deck that is going to be mostly staterooms, but there is one restaurant here towards the back of the ship that we do have to talk about, and that is Wonderland. Wonderland is imaginative cuisine. It is Royal Caribbean's take on the Alice in Wonderland story. And this place is for adventurous eaters, but I would highly recommend you come and check out this restaurant. You come in here and through this door, you are going to find the Wonderland bar. Now this is a bar that you can actually come and have a drink at if you're not even having dinner here. And I do recommend it because they have a lot of different, very cool and imaginative drinks. Um, it's something that you really shouldn't miss, especially if you have the drink package. Just come up here and sit at the bar and get a drink. But you can see down here, this is the Wonderland restaurant. Again, it is going to be for adventurous eaters, but it is a very unique dinner experience. And if you do like food and you're a foodie, kind of like me, it's going to be an experience that you're not going to want to miss. So again, that's all the way up here on deck number 12. We have made it down here to deck eight. Now decks nine, 10, 11 are going to be stateroom decks, but all the way at the back of the ship here on deck eight, you are gonna have an entertainment venue. Uh, this venue is called Dazzles. Dazzles is a live music venue where you can come and listen to music, grab a drink. There is a bar in here, and this venue is technically on decks eight and nine. So deck nine is all state rooms with the exception of the upper level uh, of Dazzles. So you see the bar here on my left. I love the contemporary design in here. I mean, that really is seen throughout the ship. You get a nice view with the floor to ceiling glass of the Ultimate Abyss slide, and then plenty of seats in here. So a variety of different types of music will be in here later in the evenings. It's a very popular venue, and if you do like to listen to live music, this will be a place to come and check out. Now, I haven't really talked about this yet, but there are a total of six what Royal Caribbean would consider neighborhoods on the ship. 
Two of those we've already seen, the pool deck and the sports court. Those are technically two different neighborhoods. We are now walking out into the third neighborhood, which is known as Central Park. This is a staple on these Oasis class ships. Um, of course, there are thousands and thousands of living plants on board. Each of these Oasis class ships have a horticultural team that lives on the ship to specifically take care of the plants. You're gonna find a variety of dining venues and shopping up here, and we're gonna kind of walk through all of those. Um, but to my left right away, you do see Chops Grill. Chops Grill is going to be Royal Caribbean's signature steakhouse here on board. This is, of course, a specialty restaurant that does come with a fee. So if you are someone that enjoys a good steak, Chops might just be for you. Now, on my right, you are going to see this kind of glass structure with doors right here. This is going to be the upper level of the Rising Tide Bar. Royal Caribbean really has innovated in terms of the different types of bars that they have on board. The Bionic Bar is a robot bar we're going to see in a little bit. The Rising Tide Bar is a bar that moves from decks 5 to 8. So if you do want to have a drink and kind of be suspended mid-air, <laughs> it's like a giant bar elevator, basically. Um, it does run every 30 minutes in the evening, so you can, of course, catch it up here, or if you just missed it, you can go on down to deck five, wait a few minutes, and get it on deck five. On the other side of the Rising Tide Bar, you are going to have 150 Central Park. This is my personal favorite specialty dining venue here on the ship. It is a more up, um, upper scale dining venue. It's farm to table, um, but I think it is the best food on the ship. So highly recommend coming and checking out 150 Central Park if you are coming on Harmony of the Seas anytime in the future. Trellis Bar is going to be one of the bars found here in the Central Park area. So you can see that right in front of me. The white tables and the red chairs. It really is very earthy in this space on the ship. I just want to take a moment just to really appreciate all of the nature that is up here. You can see this beautiful trellis. Kind of have a little bit of a walkway through there. We're going to continue walking over here on Central Park um, because in front of me you are going to have Park Cafe. Park Cafe is a casual eatery. It is free and included food. You're going to find things here like sandwiches and salads. And this is a place that is open mostly during the afternoon. So if you miss kind of the lunchtime with the wind jammer, this might be a place to come down um, and get a snack. They also do have um, free coffee down here and water. So if you're finding yourself in need of a little caffeine or just rehydrating yourself from the evening before, you can pop in there to get that. You see lots of beautiful seating here. And then we do have another special di specialty dining venue, which is Jamie's. Jamie's is going to be the Italian restaurant on board. So if you are looking for a good hearty Italian meal, you can go there. I will say the portion sizes are massive. So if you're going to go there, go hungry. There is one more bar up here on my right, which is Vintages. Vintages is going to be the wine bar on board. So for any of you, you winos or those of you that appreciate wine, this is a place where you can come and sip a glass of wine. It is typically pretty quiet, um, but it's a really nice little venue pop in here really quick. They also do offer wine classes and wine tastings. So if you are someone looking to learn a little bit about wine, you can do that up here in Vintages. As you can see, it is closed right now, but they do use that back section with the long table to do a number of different tastings. Those tastings do, of course, come with a fee. So just be prepared to know that if you are looking to take part in a wine tasting on board. On the other side of these plants, are going to be a few shops. You do have some more high-end shops up here. So of course, Bulgari is up here. You have Cartier and then Omega Watches. So again, more of your high-end shots shops up here in Central Park. See this little seating area right here, kind of tucked away. There's nice, nice hidden spots up here. So if you are wanting to kind of just get away from people and be in nature, this area really does provide that. Through these glass doors, we are going to be in the forward bank of elevators. So of course, this is where you're gonna to get to the rest of the ship. We are going to continue this tour by heading down to the next deck. 
We are now down on deck number six. Again, deck number seven is another stateroom only deck. Deck number six is going to be where you will find focus photo gallery. So this is the place where you can come and take a look at all of the different pictures that you've gotten taken on board. It's nice because this gallery is pretty expansive with a lot of, a lot of touch screens. So if you did just want to come here, tap your CPASS card, bring those photos right up and you can make the purchases on your account. Right past all of these screens, you will have the picture this studio. So that's going to be your professional studio pictures that you can come and get taken while here on your cruise. And most people don't realize this, but they also do sell camera equipment and actual cameras up here. So if you need things like SD cards, if you just forgot one at home or you need to purchase an extra one for all the pictures that you're taking on board, or if you did want to actually purchase a camera, you can do that up here in the photo gallery. Right across from the photo gallery, we are going to have the schooner bar. The schooner bar is of course a Royal Caribbean staple. This bar is one of the only bars I think that is found on all of the current fleets. This is of course their nautical themed bar, but this is also the piano bar. So they will have nightly entertainment here. You can see that piano right in front of me. They will also have some different activities up here as well. Occasionally you might find trivia up here. And then the actual bar is directly in front of me. Now you are up here sitting on deck six overlooking the Royal Promenade. We will get down there in just a little bit but you're not too far from all of the action. If you are a Crown and Anchor Society member, the loyalty desk for all of you is going to be up here in the schooner bar. So all the way kind of tucked here in the corner, this is their desk. Make sure to check the hours that they're here if you are looking to speak to the loyalty supervisor, because um, that is where they will be stationed. We are going to have another one of the neighborhoods up here on deck six, and that is going to be the Boardwalk, another incredible neighborhood on the Oasis class ships. The Boardwalk is another place full of adventure. Back here you are going to have, again, specialty dining, entertainment, plenty to do. As we walk out here right in front of me, you are going to see the carousel. That carousel is complimentary. So if you have kiddos that want to come and ride the carousel, they can do that down here on deck number six. To my left, you will have the doghouse. The doghouse is going to be another free included eatery. So there's going to be a number of different types of hot dogs and brats that you can get there. And then on my right, you do have Starbucks. So of course, if you are a Starbucks fanatic, don't worry. You're not going to have to wait until you get home to have it again, because it is here on the ship. <laughs> You also have some shopping up here. So right over here to the left of the carousel, you do have the design district. This is going to be, of course, one of the areas that you can come and buy clothing. Um, so if you are looking for shirts or merch, you can do that up here. Sundials is a part of that as well. That is going to be mostly sunglasses. So there's a couple of places you can buy sunglasses on board. And then right next to those shops, you are going to have a second arcade. So there's actually two arcades on board. So you've got just a few arcade games in here, not too many. It's pretty loud in there. Um, but right across from the arcade, you will have one of the Royal Caribbean brand shops. Now there is plenty of more shopping down on deck number five, but of course, this is going to be another one of your um, merch shops, specifically for Royal Caribbean gear. So if you're looking for Royal Caribbean gear or Harmony of the Seas gear, you can purchase that up here on deck number six. The food continues with Sabor. Now Sabor is going to be, of course, a Mexican style restaurant, kind of Tex-Mex, as well as a margarita bar. If you've not tried the avocado margarita, definitely recommend it. They make great craft margaritas here at this bar. Again, you can walk up to this bar. You do not have to be eating at this specialty restaurant to enjoy the drinks. So just another tip. If you see a bar, go get a drink because <laughs> the craft cocktails on the ship are definitely delicious. Right across from Sabor, you do have Johnny Rockets. That's found on a lot of Royal Caribbean ships. Now, Johnny Rockets, like I mentioned earlier, is open for breakfast. A lot of people don't know that that is free and included. And yes, they have a delicious breakfast sandwich. So definitely check this out while you're here on Harmony of the Seas. Right next to Johnny Rockets, you do have what is called the Lucky Climber. It's going to just kind of be a place where the little kids can climb and hang out. And that is on theme because right above us is going to be the rock climbing wall. So right past those poles, you are going to have stairs, which will take you up to the very back of deck seven, where you're going to be able to enjoy the rock climbing. 
And they do have rock climbing on either side of the ship. So you can see it right here, rock climbing wall number one. And then right over there, rock climbing wall number two. And at the very back of the ship, we do have one of my favorite venues. This is going to be the Aqua Theater. This has become such an iconic venue on this class of ship because it's very unique. Not any other cruise ship has done anything like this where they have high dive synchronized swimming shows. It doesn't even sound like uh, it does it justice. I mean, you've got acrobatics, you've got all kinds of different elements of this show. And yes, there is a splash zone. So if you are wanting to get wet while watching the show, you can do that. Now you do have to have reservations to the show. So like I said, reserve everything early. We always recommend you do that when you get on the ship right away. Last thing that we walked past was the ultimate abyss slide exit. So all the way up on deck 16, it's gonna take you all the way down here to deck six. It is uh, technically 10 decks. So again, a pretty large slide. So that is it for the back of deck six. We are going to hop forward because there is more to see. Now there are staterooms in between here and there. So we are gonna jump there next. We've made it to the other side of deck six. So again, between the boardwalk and this area, which is the forward bank of elevators, it is just staterooms. Now right outside here on deck six, I did just wanna say this is a great place to come and grab a picture. If you're looking to get a picture over the Royal Promenade and that iconic head that is the art installation here on the Harmony of the Seas, right here, this little balcony area is a great place for that. But here on deck six is going to be where you will find the spa and the gym. So Vitality at Sea is of course Royal Caribbean's spa um, and then fitness center. Through these doors, there is going to be a little cafe in here. So the Vitality Cafe is a place where you can come and get fresh squeezed juice and a number of different other um, items as well. But that juice is actually really great. And if you do have the drink package, again, another place to come that a lot of people don't know about. Now through here, you are going to, of course, have the salon. So if you are looking to get your hair cut, you can do that here. And then you are going to have the check-in desk for the spa. Um, so the spa is going to be to the right. We're gonna to walk to the left and check out the fitness center. So walking into the fitness center, you are going to see a number of treadmills and then of course, elliptical machines. You've got weights here. You do have some private consulting rooms. So if you are looking to speak to someone about getting more in shape, they do have personal trainers here on board. Those treadmills towards the windows do have really nice ocean facing views. And then of course you are gonna have weights here. There is stairs inside of the fitness center to get you out to the jogging track. The jogging track does go all around deck number five. You can actually go and access that directly down through here. You have an area behind this wall that is going to have it um, private classes, so if you are looking to do a fitness class, you can do that here. And then again, a number of different other workout um, pieces of equipment. So that was the fitness center. We're walking back out here into the lobby of the spa. Of course, if you are looking to get something like a massage or your haircut, that is something that you will need to make a reservation for. Keep in mind that those things are an additional cost. So spa services are not included in your cruise fare. But that is the forward of deck six. We are now gonna hop on down to deck number five. We popped on down to deck number five and before we get into the Royal Promenade, there's a few things that I do need to show you that are all the way here towards the front of the ship. The first is of course the Royal Theater. The Royal Theater is going to be on decks four and five. So this is actually where you will find the balcony section of the theater. Um, there are two shows here in the Royal Theater. One is of course Grease. Um, they do the Broadway style of Grease and they do it well. You don't wanna miss it. You will need a reservation for that. The second show is called Columbus. That show, in our opinion, is even better than Greece. Um, we really enjoy the entertainment here on the ship, but if you want to take part in seeing those, you will definitely want to get tickets. You can make entertainment reservations typically 60 days before your cruise on RoyalCaribbean.com, so definitely check that out. We've stepped just outside, outside of the theater, and this is where the running and jogging track is gonna be. Um, so you can see here the stats for that. Just so you are aware, if you are a runner or a jogger, you are going to be able to do one mile in two and a half laps around. So this, jo this track does go all the way around deck five. Something to keep in mind is it is not sunny down here. This is all shaded, which if you are working out, that actually may be better, um, but you can definitely come here and get some of your exercise in. 
We are gonna step past the theater here and we are going to actually now go into the Royal Promenade. This will be the fifth of six neighborhoods that we've seen. The Royal Promenade is going to be the center of the ship. So you have a lot of different um, venues here on the Royal Promenade. As we walk in, you are going to see the shore excursions area. Now the shore excursions area is kind of um, self-service. So you're gonna see all these different iPads here. They are just touch screens. You can go ahead and look up information about shore excursions or just purchase shore excursions, which is really nice and convenient. Gone are the days of having to wait to actually talk to someone. You have everything at your disposal right here. On my left, we are gonna have Boleros. This is Royal Caribbean's Spanish style bar. Again, this is a bar that is found on many different venues. It's also a venue that has great live music. So if you are someone that loves Latin music, there's live music and dancing here every single evening. It is definitely a vibe in here that you aren't gonna to wanna to miss if you are coming on your cruise. Directly across from Boleros, you will have the On Air Bar. The On Air Bar is the kind of the karaoke bar on board and one of the main bars for trivia. So I'll walk inside and see this really quick. But there'll be a number of different smaller game shows and smaller events and activities here in this venue. And then you do see the bar there and the stage. You want to check out the Royal Caribbean app and make sure you have that downloaded on your phone because that's going to direct you to the different activities and where they will be. So if there's a specific trivia that you're going to uh, want to go to, it's most likely going to either be there or up in Schooner Bar on Deck 6. You have a number of shops here in the Royal Pro uh, Promenade. You see these little kiosks that are kind of here in the center. All of these will have different items throughout the cruise. Certain nights they might be selling liquor out here. Other nights they might do their five or $10 sale where they've got hats and bags and t-shirts that you can purchase. You do have Solera Beauty <coughs> found here in the Royal Promenade. So if you are someone that's looking for cologne, fragrances, um, or of course makeup, you're gonna be able to find that here at Solera. Solera is another shop that is found on most Royal Caribbean ships. And right across from Solera Beauty is going to be Prince and Green. This is gonna be a little bit more of a higher end apparel shop. So they will be selling some clothes, some bags, more high end purses, um, and then they do have some jewelry in here as well. As we continue to walk, we are going to walk past Sorrento's, which is going to be the pizza shop. This is one of the latest dining venues open. They're typically open until about 2 or 3 a.m. If you are looking for pizza, it's a great place to come and grab a slice any time of the day. And then we do have Boot and Bonnet. This is going to be the pub on board. Another venue with great drinks and also great live music. So you can see there is a setup right there for a musician. Typically a guitarist will be in here in the evenings. We love coming in here and listening to music. And then you do have the bar there directly across from me. I love this place because you walk in here and you're immediately transported overseas to Europe. It's very cool. You have some outdoor seating here for the pub as well as for Sorrento's. And then another shop. You are going to have Kate Spade here on board. So of course your designer bags, additional um, jewelry can be found in here. Now all the shops are closed because we are at port today. So when you do dock at port, um, you actually cannot go into places like the shops. Those sales will happen once you're back out at sea. Next, we do have the next cruise office. So if you are looking to book your next vacation on board, you can do that here. If you do use a travel agent, don't forget to give them your travel agent's information because you can still book there, take advantage of their perks, and work with your travel agent, which is awesome. We've got Cafe Promenade here, which is another place where you can come and get coffees as well as snacks. This food area is open 24 hours, so you can come here and get small snacks like cookies, sandwiches, and wraps um, 24 hours a day, which is really nice. Here's the area where the Rising Tide Bar will come down. So we did see that up on deck eight. But of course, this is one of the areas that you can come and grab a drink and then ride up to Central Park. And right across from us, we do have Regalia. So that is going to be another area where you can purchase luxury watches. Guest services is here on my right. 
So if you do have any issues while you're here on the Harmony of the Seas, the guest services team is wonderful and they will definitely help you out. Another regalia, but this is the fine jewelry section of regalia. So of course you can see that here. And then right across from us, we do have Bionic Bar. Bionic Bar is going to be that robot bar that's found here on Harmony of the Seas and the other Oasis class ships. But what's great about this bar is you're gonna be able to actually just order your drink and then there is no actual bartender. These two robots will make the drink for you. You can see your wait time up here. And this is another area where it's a very fun place, especially for the kids to come and watch. You can of course get mocktails too if you don't drink alcohol. And then up here you will have your port shopping desk as well as your internet desk. So that's where these ambassadors will be. So if you're looking um, to talk to someone about shopping, either on the ship or in port, or if you're needing a little bit of assistance with internet, um, those two desks are right back there. As we walk towards the back of deck five, we are going to have the main dining room. So the main dining room is going to be three stories. So it will be found on decks three, four, and five. Decks four and five are your set dining. So if you have a specific dining time, like 5.15 or eight o'clock, you'll be up here on four and five. If you have my time dining, which means you go any time of the evening to dinner, you will be down on deck number three. Now, something people don't realize is it's much easier if you have my time dining to make a reservation in the Royal Caribbean app. If you don't have a reservation, you're gonna end up waiting in a long line. Um, not everybody knows that, but it's kind of a, a little bit of a hack if you're coming here on Harmony of the Seas. You can see this is a massive dining room. We'll just take a quick look down. You have that huge orange chandelier and three stories. The dining on Royal Caribbean has been really good. It's 2023, there is a new menu out. So far, we've really enjoyed the food here on Harmony of the Seas. So that is it for deck number five. We are gonna hop on down to deck number four. We've come on down to deck number four. We are still in more towards the aft area of the ship. And so you are going to have that deck four level of the main dining room right here outside of the elevator bank. And then you do have a specialty restaurant that is kind of tucked away back here on deck four. Very easy to miss um, if you kind of don't go exploring throughout the ship. But this is going to be Azumi Hibachi and Sushi. So of course they will be doing Hibachi, traditional Hibachi back here and that will be to my right. So you can see hibachi area right there, and then they will have sushi to my left. Now again, if you are wanting hibachi when you come on your cruise vacation, you are gonna wanna reserve it early because it does typically sell out, but the team here at Azumi is amazing. They do an incredible job, and you will not regret coming here for dinner. The sushi is also really good on board too, so if you are looking for sushi or hibachi, don't miss that here on deck number four. You do have the grand entrance into Casino Royale here on deck number four. Um, now, the casino is actually open today, which is pretty rare for being at ports. That just means that the rules and regulations are different where we are. Um, so we are going to go to the other side of Casino Royale, but Casino Royale is the start of the sixth um, neighborhood on Harmony of the Seas, which is the entertainment place. So tons of entertainment here on deck number four. We are going to jump to the other side of the casino. We'll see you over there in a second. We've come to the other side of the casino. Um, there are two hallways that kind of stretch into the rest of deck four. I wanted to walk down this hallway because this is going to be where Park West lives. So if you are an art collector, Park West, their office is found here in the hallway um, between the casino and the rest of the entertainment place. Uh, but of course you can see this hallway is lined with a lot of different art. If you are an art collector, this is a place that you're gonna definitely wanna check out. Of course, like other cruise ships, they do have your art auctions on board, your champagne art events. So Park West will be down here on deck four if you are looking for them. Now we're walking out into the lobby of the entertainment place. Again, this is kind of that sixth neighborhood. Right away, we do have Studio B. This is going to be the ice skating rink on board. Not only is it an ice skating rink that you can utilize to actually skate, they do have ice skating shows here. So they'll bring in Olympic style ice skating shows. The ice skaters on board are just phenomenal. You won't wanna miss the ice skating show when you are on the Harmony of the Seas. 
You do have your diamond club here, so if you are, of course, a diamond member or above, this will be the place that you can come and hang out. The diamond concierge also is in here. So if you do have that loyalty status, definitely take advantage of this area. It's nice and quiet, and the diamond concierge is quite helpful. Right across from the diamond club, you will have the attic. The attic is the nightclub on board. You also will have adults only comedy in here and other events such as the art auction. So it's kind of a multifunctional space, but every evening it does turn into a fully fledged nightclub. This is a huge change and actually it's the first week that this change has existed. There is no more jazz on four. This is now another casino. So they have removed the Jazz on 4 venue in 2023 and they have put in what is called the Golden Room Casino. This is a non-smoking casino. There is a number of different slot machines in here as well as tables. This has been great because if you're not a smoker and I am not a smoker, it's a great place to come and get away. Um, it smells fresh, nice, it's obviously brand new. If you are a casino patron, this will be an area that you will want to come and check out. You've got another elevator uh, lobby here as well as stairs to take you directly up to the Royal Promenade. Really fun art installation. And then we do have the entrance into the Royal Theater. So this will be the main entrance into the theater. Obviously, we saw that upstairs, but if you have tickets for any of the shows in here, this will be the main level that you can come and check out those shows. Bathrooms will be located on either side of the theater, both here on deck four and on deck five. So if you need those, those are nice and close to the theater. And we are going to hop on down to deck number three. We are down on deck number three. Now, here towards the front of the ship, deck number three is going to have elevators, staterooms, and the conference center. If you are on board for a conference or you are looking for the meeting rooms, they are tucked all the way down here, definitely out of the way of everything else in the ship. You do have that concierge for the con conference center that will sit right there. This is where their desk is. Bathrooms on either side of the conference center and then those hallways that you see directly in front of me will take you to the other side of the ship. Now, the other side of deck number three is of course going to be the third level of the main dining room. Or if you have my time dining, that will be the space where you will dine. You can see that sign that is right here showing you how to get to the main dining room, which is through the corridors of the staterooms. So that was our tour of Harmony of the Seas. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Well, that was the Harmony of the Seas. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm Jordan with JJ Cruz, and until next time, see ya.